Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I am so excited to do. It is my first Will I Buy It of 2022. Oh yeah, so we are gonna be talking about all of the new makeup releases. We are gonna be talking about all of the new makeup releases. I have some new ones on my face to chat with you about. We have a lot to get through this week. I'll link my playlist down below as well as the community playlist that I started. Let's jump into it. You know, this isn't my first video uploaded in 2022. It is my first one that I'm filming in 2022. There is that. My first one was a vlog showing how I celebrated New Year's. And then um, the one that went up yesterday was my best of beauty for 2021. And I filmed that on New Year's as I was getting ready for New Year's. You know, in that one, I'm wearing like a sparkly top and I'm looking like, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, today I decided to do something different. So let's jump into the outfit of the day. My pajamas. But I just got these new sweatpants from Target. They say dog mom and they got the, you know, the different colored legs. I thought that was cute. And then um, I placed an order from White Fox Boutique on uh, Black Friday. And I, and, I, and I just got my order in. So I'm wearing one of the sweaters from White Fox Boutique. That took a really long time to get my order from them. But that is what I'm wearing today. Like I said, I have some new products on my face that I'm gonna chat with you about, but I do link all of my makeup down below. And I did film two different uh, Instagram reels on this look, one using complexion products, one using the ColourPop Rose collection. That video should already be up on my Instagram. I feel like, you know, it went a little bit hard with the blush, but there's worse things in life. Aries just let out a big sigh. There's worse things in life than going hard on your blush. And you know what? It's fine. Everything's fine. But let me jump into some new releases. Like I said, I also have some new products on my face. So NARS came out with some new complexion products. And they did send these over in PR. And I wanted to try them right away. I really like trying foundations. They also came out with a powder. I was very curious about it. So from their card that they put in uh, the package, this is the Light Reflecting Collection. Makeup that looks like skin, acts like skincare, feels light as air. Introducing the Light Reflecting Foundation, a hybrid makeup skincare formula that instantly blurs and smooths the look of skin while improving skin clarity over time with medium buildable coverage and a natural finish. They also have the Light Reflecting Setting Powder, now available in loose and pressed formulas. So the powder is available now. The foundation, I believe, is going to be available January 13th. So I have on the shade Vienna, which is a light of 4.5. I actually feel like it's pretty light for me. Um, they sent over two other darker shades, but I thought that they were going to be too dark. Um, but I might try those because I feel like this one is a pretty light. But like I said, I do have an Instagram tutorial with a demo um, with the foundation also. First impression, I, I think I just want to try it with a different shade because I just, sometimes when the foundation is too light, I feel like it really shows everything that maybe I don't necessarily want shown. Like I have a lot of dryness happening right now. We went through a crazy cold spell last week. My skin is like, truly, like my friend like went up to me the other day and was like rubbing my nose and she's like, you have dry skin all over your nose. I was like, I know, but thank you for your help. <laughs> I, I do want to try a different shade. I will say that I feel like it blended super easily. I didn't really use all that much product, but I feel like I could still see it kind of evening everything out. To me, it was kind of more of that light medium coverage versus medium uh, buildable, but I need to play with it a few more times. This is just my first impression. I wanna use more product and see how that blends out. I used it with a sponge today, but I will definitely be doing uh, a review on the foundation once I do try it out a few more times. The powder, I was definitely curious to try out. So this is the translucent powder, the light, reflecting setting powder the pressed one so it comes with this like this i don't know i felt like this was like blotting paper Ooh, there's a helicopter squirrel i felt like it was like blotting paper maybe and then this is just what the powder looks like so it looks very very white but it was translucent but once again i i want to try these two products separately i tried them both together today mostly because i was doing the demo on instagram but i do want to try them separately i want to try the foundation with my dior powder i want to try one of my favorite foundations with this powder and see how i like it so that way i can do reviews on both but like i said i'm just feeling like the shade match isn't quite the best and i don't know you know i compare everything to my dior powder no powder and i'm having like a few problem areas today because it's you know that time so i feel like the dior powder would make me feel like a whole lot better whereas i just don't feel like my skin looks as like 
as I would like it to be. But I'm gonna keep trying them out. I'll try them out more times. Like I said, foundation will be available January 13th. I believe this is available now, so I can link it down below. But I will have some reviews coming for that. Would I have purchased them on my own? I tend to like NARS foundations. I don't know what it is, but I, I tend to really like them. Also, the NARS Soft Matte Concealer, that's been a favorite of mine for a long time. I think that I could have seen myself purchasing this one um, to give it a try because it sounds like something that I like. That medium coverage, kind of like the skincare makeup hybrid. I think that I would have been interested in this one. So um, those are my thoughts on the NARS collection and trying it out today, but let's move over to some other new releases. I am going to scoot over. I will link the accounts that I am reading from down below. I believe it's gonna be Trend Mood One and then also Hotfire.makeup. More complexion products that are coming out. I definitely got a lot of text on this one. So Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics is expanding. She's done a lot of you know lip products, cheek products, but now they are going into the complexion collection. So we have the Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint. This is $34, 12 shades. A blurring sheer coverage skin tint doing double duty as a blurring primer and tinted moisturizer. Then we have the Faux Filler Perfecting Concealer, which is $26. A buildable medium to full coverage concealer that visibly brightens, blurs, and flexes um, with skin for a flawless finish all day long. And 35 shades will be available January 11th on the website. I know I've been getting so many tags on this. I've seen people saying, I hope that you get this in PR. I've seen people saying, I hope that you buy this. I just, I don't know what it is because there are products that Jaclyn Cosmetics comes out with and that I am interested in. I just, I don't know why that this one did not catch my attention because it sounds like something I would enjoy. The Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint, Blurring Sheer Coverage. I think it sounds like it's really, really sheer and I think maybe that's what's getting me. Um, I talked about, what was it last week that it was like a... Uh, a tinted moisturizer and I was like normally I'd be interested in this oh my gosh I can't think of what brand it was but I was like I feel like not right now like give me a few months and then I'll be going back into my skin tints and my more light coverage products so much so I think that's what's kind of getting me when it comes to that and then for the concealer I don't know I feel like I've just been striking out on concealers recently I've purchased I've purchased a handful in the past couple of months here and nothing has really stuck out to me as a favorite. Um, I just kind of keep going back to the ones that I love. The dose of colors I'm almost out of. Um, I have the e.l.f. Cosmetics 16 hour camel concealer on today. So I kind of just keep going back to those, the Pat McGrath. So I don't know, I think I feel, I feel like I wanted to be excited for this, especially cause so many people tagged me on it and were like, I hope that you try this, but I'm just like, I don't know, I'm not really feeling it. Are you gonna get it? Let me know. I feel like I'm disappointing people. And then speaking of, you know, skin tints, tinted moisturizers, we have available now from Laura Mercier. This is the new tinted moisturizer, light revealer, natural skin illuminator, broad spectrum SPF 25. Okay. Luminescent pearls add a hint of radiant color while reflecting light to brighten dull skin. Uh, let's see. It's going to be $48 and available in 14 shades. Once again, it's like I feel like I want to be excited for these products because I'm like, oh, they sound like something that I would enjoy. But at the same time, I'm like, I just don't feel like I want them right now. <laughs> right now. I'm going more for like medium buildable products at this moment. I've been wearing my Pat McGrath so much, um, my Urban Decay Hydromaniac so much, my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I've been wearing that quite a bit. Did the Dior Forever Glow, like that's just kind of what I'm wearing at the moment. I found my Wander Beauty foundation. Oh my gosh. I was, I, I found a makeup bag that I never even opened from my move, but I did my eyeshadow pile declutter. If you missed it, you should watch it because it's fairly epic. And I do still have, that giveaway is still open to win a box of a bunch of eyeshadow palettes. So that one is the last giveaway that is still open right now from Santa Sam. And I was like tearing through my apartment because I really wanted to make sure I had every single palette in that video because there's been other declutters that I've done where I've missed products because I still have stuff in boxes from my move. And I found a whole bag that I hadn't opened and inside was my Wonder Beauty foundation. And I was like, ooh, I just assumed I got rid of it. Like I was like, oh, I must have just gotten rid of it before, my, before I moved. Should I do a video on makeup? I forgot. What would I call it? Makeup by lost in the move. I didn't really lose it though. Makeup I forgot to unpack. I don't know if you have any good titles or if you would want to see that video, holla at your girl because 
I could make that video. So I'm kind of the same on the Laura Mercier. I, I'm a little bit more interested in this one than the Jaclyn Cosmetics. Not gonna lie, but uh, I don't know. If you really wanna see reviews on either one of those, do let me know. We have a new collection coming from ColourPop. And this is celebrating the Lunar New Year, Year of the Tiger. We've had quite a few of these in the last couple of weeks here. New collection, this is gonna be limited edition. We have a shadow quad, glossy lip stain, lip creme, lip lacquer from Soul Body, a shimmering body powder, and from 4th Ray Beauty, the mini body milk. So these should be available at the time that this video goes up. I, I really like the quad in here, the eyeshadow palette quad. I think that looks quite nice. That's really, I think, the only thing from the collection that I'm like, ooh, that's pretty. But I did, like I said, I have their rosé collection on. What's this one called? By the Rosé is the eyeshadow palette and then the blush from it. And then I did also keep out the emerald quad from their Two Jewel for School collection. So I, I usually do get PR from ColourPop. If I do get this, I'll probably just end up passing, passing it along because I just don't know if I'd be able to get to it unless I decide I really want to keep that quad. But I also just decluttered my eyeshadows and I feel really proud of that. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving myself my own little challenge. I have a few makeup challenges that you'll be seeing videos towards the end of the month. And uh, I'm excited to, to, to challenge myself a little bit here, trying to use all of my eyeshadow palettes, trying to do looks outside my comfort zone. I have my goals all written down. You know, it's the new year's. If anyone wants to share their resolutions, Holla at me, put them in the comments. So it's like, do I really need to add another palette to my collection when I just got rid of half of my collection? Probably not, but it's pretty. I don't think I would need to run out and grab anything for myself. More Year of the Tiger. I don't think I've talked about this one yet. Clinique is coming out with a cheek pop. So they pretty much do this every year for the Lunar New Year. Year of the Tiger, the Cheek Pop Highlighter by Clinique and Gold Celebration Pop. This is gonna be limited edition and it is at $26.50. I know a lot of people really like the Clinique Cheek Pops. I don't know if I've ever tried one or if I have. It was many, many moons ago and I don't quite remember it. But um, it, it looks to be a very golden highlight, which is not something that I reach for all that often myself. I'm actually not even wearing highlight today, which is crazy. The blush has a little bit um, of sparkle to it. I think it's called No Way from the Rose Eye Collection. I, I don't think that I would be needing that myself. Uh, we have some new products coming from Chanel, their Spring 2022 collection. Let's talk about it. We have some blushes. These are $70. The Soft Glow Blush gives cheeks a radiant flush in two shades. Then we also have the Blush Lumiere for $70. It's an, an illuminating blush powder. All right, in two shades. The Le Four Ombres, which is $65. Okay. Oh, so those must be the little eyeshadows. Got it. Four shades in a range of delicate pinks and browns. Then we have the... Coco Balm for $42, a hydrating, beautifying, tinted lip balm in seven shades. Then we have a longwear liquid eyeshadow in five shades. And the Balm Essential, what is that? I don't know what some of this stuff is. I feel so, I feel so silly right now. I feel like Chanel will not be, they'll be like, no girl. We know that you like Dior. I like you too, Chanel. I like you too. Do I need any of these products? I mean, the packaging on some of these are so pretty and you know, the imprints and everything, super, super pretty. The blushes for $70, they sound nice and they sound like products that I would put on and I'd be like, ooh, I feel pretty today. But, um, you know, I think it's gonna be a pass for me. And then the eyeshadows, I actually talked about an eyeshadow, was it a quad or was it five shades? from Dior last week and that was also $65 and I think those shades speak to me more. I still said it was probably going to be out of my price range, um, you know, at least right now. If you're self-employed, you know, we got estimate taxes coming on up in January this month in like two weeks and then at the end of the month. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. It's probably going to be a no for me. I would like it to be a yes for me, but it's gonna be a no for me. <laughs> From Lawless Beauty, I see they came out with a new lip product. I got a lot of tags on this one. This is the Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. An overnight lip plumping line smoothing treatment that supports natural collagen production for lips that look bigger, contains all of the smoothing, plumping, and hydrating effects that you love from the original gloss, but with 50% more maxi lip and 1200% more shea butter. That's a lot of percentages. This is $21, will be available January in Sephora. 
honestly, I'm probably gonna buy this. I'm just gonna be straight with you. First of all, this picture. This picture actually, can I? Okay. Uh, please don't judge me for what I'm about to say. When I first saw this picture, you know what popped into my mind? Bubblegum jelly beans. And I love bubblegum jelly beans. They are a weakness of mine. We had a pizza place in Iowa called Happy Joe's. I think they're pretty mid. Are they Midwest based? No. Is there a Happy Joe's in Vegas? No. I have no idea. It's called Happy Joe's. But they would have a line of jelly beans, and anytime I would go there, I would get like a pound of bubblegum jelly beans, and I would pretty much eat them in like 24 hours. <clears throat> Anyways, so that's where my mind went when I saw this. But I love this gloss. You know, I, like I said, I just did my Best of Beauty from 2021, and the lawless class is mentioned i think it's great i use a lip mask every night i typically use the one from laneige but i would totally try this one from lawless beauty if it's going to give me smooth plump lips like i'm about that life sign me oh another eyeshadow palette from morphe cosmetics they are coming out with the sweet tea collection inspired by their most loved cult favorite liner shade sweet tea includes the 35 t sweetest tea artistry palette for 28 dollars the Out and a Pout Lip Trio in Sweet Tea for $18, and the Out and a Pout Lip Trio in Sweetest Tea for $18 will be available January 5th on the website. I just don't go for these bigger palettes. I usually do something really small or um, even just like single shadows these days are what's really getting me. And it's a little bit more colorful. It just, uh, it just honestly just doesn't do anything for me. And then the lip products, I know that I can escape over those. I have my favorites and Morphe just isn't a brand that I tend to go back to. From Danessa Myricks, she is coming out with the Infinite Chrome Pencil, giving us more duo chromes. The, this is a multi-chrome micro tip waterproof pencil with high intensity color, color shifting. It's going to be waterproof and smudge proof for $22. Love the concept. I know a lot of people who really love the multi-chromes and the duo chromes and to get it in a liner could be a lot of fun there's a lot of different things that I think that you could do with that but for me that's not really my makeup preference not really something that I go for so I don't think that that would be a release for me and then from the Sephora collection we have some new additions the big by definition mascara for $12 and the ultimate gel eyeliner for 13 this is going to be available January 7th online at Sephora I haven't tried a lot from the Sephora collection. Um, I tried a lip product a while back that I actually really enjoyed. The brushes from the Sephora collection I do think are really good also. That might be all that I've tried from the Sephora collection that you can get at Sephora. I don't really need a new mascara or new eyeliners at this point. I also found some pure eyeliners in that makeup bag and I was like, ah! I was so excited about that, um, including my purple eyeliner. I was very pleased. So nothing that I think that I need to have for myself. So I'm going to pass on that one. Uh, also from Sephora, we have celebrating the Lunar New Year. We have the Sephora favorite set online. And then it also says Sephora Canada. It's just Is this just Sephora Canada? Wait, tell me more. So I think maybe this is just available in Canada right now, but let me talk about them anyways, because I know some of you are probably in Canada. So we have the Lunar New Year Makeup Superstars. This is $59. This looks really interesting. We have an hourglass, uh, we have an hourglass mini velour lashes, the Laura Mercier translucent powder, the Lancome Lashy Doll Mascara, YSL lipstick, a Tom Ford matte lipstick, and the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Then we have the Year of the Tiger skincare favorites for $49 from brands like Clarence, Estee Lauder, Glow Recipe, Jo Malone, Lancome, Laneige, Shiseido, Sunday Riley. Then the Year of the Tiger Luxe skincare must-haves for $78 from brands like Caudalie, Dr. Dennis Gross, Dr. Jart, Pharmacy, Fresh, Givenchy, Kate Somerville, Lancome, La Mer, uh, alrighty. So if you were in Canada, you would be able to get these. I don't think that I will be able to link them, but some of them, I mean, I, I don't, the Lunar New Year makeup superstars, that kind of looks like a good one. And then it's, you know, to be able to sample some skincare, probably nothing, even if I could get it, I don't think it would be anything that I would need for myself because I have some of these products in my collection. So probably wouldn't make sense for me to grab it, but, uh, yeah, looks interesting. We have a from Trend Mood. She is coming out with a new Trend Mood box and it's gonna have both Juvia's Place, the makeup brand and the skincare brand included. So this is gonna be available January 6th on the Trend Mood box website. So we have the Peptide and Ceramide Cream, the Hyaluronic Glow Serum, the Let's Melt It Off Gel Cleanser, Let's Melt It Off Cleansing Balm, the I Live I Love Eyeliner Kit, and the I Live I Love Eyeshadow Palette. I don't see a price on this 
one um because the prices do vary for the trend mood boxes and you buy them each separately it's not a subscription so i have a few of these products from juvia's place the makeup products i haven't tried any of the skincare yet but i don't feel a real pull to try the skincare out i haven't heard a lot about it myself and i try not to change up my skincare too too much uh, so I don't think that's going to be one for me, but if you've wanted to try Juvia's Place makeup or their skincare products, this could be a way to do it through the Trend Mood box. I'm going to flip over to hotfire.makeup because I saw a release from Ace Beauté. This is their new floral vintage palette. Let's see, this has 24 shades, it will be $49. This is really pretty, you know, it looks kind of, I just want to use the word happy, like it looks kind of like bright and happy and floral. Uh, but with the 24 shades again, that's just a little bit on the larger side for me And some of the colors in here I don't think I would get a lot of use of so that one is going to be a pass and then this I thought was interesting This is from Tarte. This is their new Amazonian clay Gem powder foundation. You can get it now with a free blur blush No, you can get it with a free blur brush for the same price as the foundation okay so this is a loose powder foundation to deliver full natural looking coverage for a gorgeous youthful looking complexion uh it's going to be 39 dollars with a 55 dollar value got it it's interesting i just i don't feel like a powder foundation because it said it was full coverage i just i don't feel like i get full coverage from a loose powder especially i guess i'm just i'm not really like a loose powder foundation type of gal really not even like a setting powder anymore i'm typically going for my pressed powders at this moment it sounds interesting i guess maybe if you use it with that brush because that brush looks pretty dense maybe if you used it with that and really packed it in you could get a little bit more coverage but i just feel like this would be messy for me i just i don't think this would be something that i would really want to try but are you gonna try it see some new skincare coming from ula henriksen so they are coming out oops that's not it they are coming out with a new line called strength yes strength and a new product the strength training peptide boost moisturizer a strong moisture barrier means healthier more glowing skin i feel like we're gonna see like skin barrier moisture barrier a lot in 2022 I know we like we saw it quite a bit in 2021. I think it's going to be really ramped up for 2022. All right, this is going to be a $48. Helps skin retain moisture all day and firms over time. Lightweight balm to gel texture that melts into skin. Uh, has amino acids, powerful peptides, and ceramides, including uh, collagen and hyaluronic acid. Available January 5th on the website, January 6th, Sephora, and in stores. You know, I used to really love Ula Henriksen. I had a lot of their skincare products, and I just, I don't use the brand as much anymore. It just, you know, kind of got dethroned by a few other products. Um, one skincare brand that I really am quite enjoying is Peach and Lily, and I've, I've liked them for a while. There's quite a few products that I really like, but... I oftentimes use their matcha moisturizer or their glass skin moisturizer and I've been really really happy with that so I'm just gonna stick with those stick with what I'm using right now and then one more thing I saw on trend mood that we now know the Sephora birthday gifts so if you're a part of the beauty insider program which is free that's just where you earn the points for shopping then you can also get beauty insider birthday gifts all month long the month of your birthday if you stop in you can grab your birthday gifts or i believe that you can order them online did i lie can you order them online have i ever ordered them online i feel like i should know this i feel like maybe it's just because i'm hungry right now what time is it it's 4 50. <gasps> it's 4 15. i haven't had my snack yet oh i'm like a child so the <laughs> 2022 birthday gifts we have a tatcha set the rice water cleanser mini and the dewy skin cream mini and a liquid silk canvas sample from amika you could get or you could choose amika and get the dry shampoo mini the nourishing mask mini and the shine mask mini from laura mercier all minis the translucent setting powder and eyeshadow stick and strapless or from olaplex the number three and number eight minis i think these are really nice gifts i like all of those products from tatcha amika has really good dry shampoo Laura Mercier, nice products. Olaplex, great hair care products. These are some fantastic gifts. I don't know what I would choose. I guess it would just depend. Like, am I almost out of dry shampoo? Could I use another one? Maybe. Um, I have a lot of Tatcha skincare that I use. I have quite a bit, like quite a few minis in my shower. I purchased a mini set over holiday time. Um, so maybe if I was like running out of something, I'd get Tatcha. The Olaplex, those are really nice products. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with these, uh, with these gifts. All right. Um, I think that is everything. 
I'll just double check, but also while I'm double checking, I just want to say, has Pat McGrath played me? Has anyone gotten their Bridgerton Pat McGrath products? If you ordered on the Pat McGrath website? Because I ordered, was it on Christmas Day that they came out? Like I ordered within minutes of it launching and it hasn't even shipped yet. I'm like having like this White Fox Boutique flashbacks of like how long it's gonna take for me to get this Bridgerton collection and I'm also going on vacation next week. So, um, Okay, so I'm just curious. I just thought I would ask because I'm starting to not be very happy. And I feel like I've heard in the past Pat McGrath having having some uh, shipping issues. So I'm not very pleased. But if you've been waiting for the Bridgerton video from me, because I mentioned in Will I Buy It that I purchased the collection, it hasn't even shipped to me yet. So that is it though for this week's will i buy it and the new makeup releases i did want to say i'm not sure if i will have a new makeup releases for next week i am going on vacation and i leave pretty early monday morning uh so i'm just going to check on sunday if there's enough new makeup releases to put into a video i will film that on sunday to have it up on wednesday uh if not if there's only a couple to talk about um i'm going to skip next week's will i buy it video um, I am cutting back a little bit in January. I did mention that in one of my past videos just because I did vlogmas and I did all 31 days of December. I also was very busy with my brand and packing and shipping orders because I ran some end of year specials and I wanted to be able to focus my time on a few other projects. In January, we have a new collection, um, some new products coming for by Samantha March soon and I have been working on my next book pretty intently so and then just you know like clean my apartment and you know take a little bit of a break and all of those things in january so cutting back just a little bit i won't be doing my usual four days uh but did want to let you know about next week i might just do it later you know once i come back maybe not skip the full week um, but I don't know for sure if there is going to be one on Wednesday, but I will keep updated on my community tab and also my Instagram stories, but wanted to give a heads up if I'm not here next Wednesday, no cause to panic. Hopefully I'm just relaxing. <laughs> all right, so that is it though. If you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.